Good afternoon and welcome to Round 7 Div 1 Men Hockey Aubrey Wodonga Action. All in Sports bringing you today's special Mother's Day coverage. Cass Argus with you for All in Sports. Finally back on the mic together joining me, Dom Wild. Special comments. Dom, welcome. We're back, Cass. We are. They, they tried to tear us apart and we're back together. The A team is, we're referring to ourselves, no one else really is, but we are. It's all that matters. A bit of a match-up today here. We've got the fourth place Wodonga coming off a loss to Norse and the sixth place Magpies coming off a loss to United. Don Wodonga haven't really probably had the start to the season they would have liked to. Tell us what they need to change today to, to get back in the winner's circle. I think they've still, they're still playing a good breed of hockey. They've definitely, we had a match-up with them with Wodonga on Anzac Day weekend and they, they played a really good breed of hockey that they normally play. It's fast-flowing, they're quite fit team. Good high ball movement, but they've they haven't had Jeremy here for the start of the year. Jeremy Payne, their coach, I'm assuming captain as well, but they haven't had him for the first few rounds, so he's back, probably steady the ship, I'd say, um, and just see how they go. Two hundred game for him yesterday in the Capital League as well. Big milestone for him yesterday. Yeah, massive achievement. That's um, pretty serious numbers for that sort of hockey, having to travel to either Canberra or Melbourne every second week for a lot of lot of seasons. There wouldn't be too many hockey or River Wodonga people have notched up 200 in Capital League. I reckon before. maybe four at yep. most. Um, a couple of the Mags boys maybe? Yeah, Ian Beath, um, Tony Donnelly and maybe Magsy, Andrew Mags, I think. Some pretty elite company there. So it looks like we've got Magpies headed to the right of the screen. Wodonga headed to the left. We're just underway here. Magpies have had all the possession to start with and just a little bobble there. Yeah, Noah Jones doesn't make too many of their mistakes out of the half line, but that's right, he'll settle in. So Mulrooney takes it towards the circle and it might have been two on the tackle, but it's play on. Work here from Magpies heading forward, but well picked up there by Albon. That's Seth. The Albon name called a few times today and yeah, actually get straight that's up. fair enough to start with. Clean it up at the start and then we don't see it again. Yeah, I like that from the umpires nice and early. Yep. The precedence has been set here. So yep. we are all of a minute into the game and we've got our first card and with Pat Wilson coming off. Yeah, I don't mind seeing that. Cleans up the game. Oh, here we go in the circle. Shot straight away, but saved there from the keeper, Logan Wilford. Still the Capital League. Keeper, yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah, he had a great game yesterday. We played uh, old Canberians, or yeah, Spitfires played old Canberians, and they're a high quality side and kept them to 3-0. The defensive players and goalkeeper definitely got an absolute peppering, but retained the pressure and came out 3-0 down, which is probably not a bad result, to be honest. So it'll be Leach on this broadcast side. Both teams we're seeing really trying to slow things down and set things up at the moment. The ball goes forward, well picked up in the middle there by Albon. I must say, it's cracking weather today. The last two to three weeks, it's been a bit rainy and cold, and it's uh, definitely beautiful weather turned on for the mums today. Feels like finals hockey, this weather. It does, actually, You're very much right. Yeah, bit of warmth, crisp air, You're nice in the little breeze. And t shirt, as usual, the Falcon shirt. Yep, got to support them. No game from you today, having the week off before you head off to get married? Yeah, I. Uh, Bit of self-preservation, which is unusual for me. I don't really think about that too often. But um, Ellie and I had a bit of a discussion last weekend after a few people with head knocks, and we decided that was enough and probably wasn't worth it. So, so Walker out to Llewellyn, and good defence there from Wodonga. So, Dom, you and you and the wife, soon-to-be wife, will be off for a couple of weeks? Yeah, probably four or four, maybe five weeks. I'm not actually too certain. It'll be four and a bit weeks, so... Miss hockey for a little bit of time, but a bit of travel in there. And Important reason, though. Yeah. yeah Knocking off the honeymoon at the same time, are you? Yep. Ten days in Spain, so we'll knock that one off and tick that box, which will be nice. Walker smashes it forward, but had no one running for him. And That's the right ball. Just needed someone out that, out that way for him. So Wodonga will reload here. We might be about to see Pat Wilson come back on, I think. So... Whilst Wodonga had one extra man, they didn't really capitalise on it. Uh, Magpies now back to a full complement, and that man, Wilson, will send it forward. To Robertson. Wins his team the free hit. Get to Wilson again, who looks like he might just shove it in, and good defence there from Leach. Maybe just caught playing around with it a little too much. Quality player, Wilson. 
Well, he sends it back in, and there was a deflection. It might have been off a Wodonga stick, though. Yeah, I'm not sure where that came off. Came off someone's stick, definitely. I have to admit, though, the build-up so far is all Magpies' way. The winless Magpies looking for their first win for the year. Magpies have got a really good lineup. I think Noah Jones, both the Morrison boys have been playing really good hockey. Um, Riley Walker, he's really stepped up this year and playing some really good hockey in the Capital League and taking a bit more of a leadership role, so it'll be good to see how they go out here. So Ethan Albon, it's his first touch for the game. Prolific goal scorer, Ethan. Into the circle it goes. Juggled well there and... Shots on if he wants it on the back stick, but the tackle from Jones is brilliant work. Leach just attacking the ball, but gobbles it again. The defense there from Erkskind. Quilton into the circle. There it comes up. Worked out well there for Will. <laughs> I think he was trying to blister that over the sideline. He might have been, and his captain, Riley Walker, just happened to be there to get it. So Llewellyn, he looks up, he's got Robertson on the run in the middle and just a little too hot for him. So another quick attack there. And speaking of the Morrison boys, Hamish Morrison's just made the, is it the under-18s yep. ACT team? Yep. He's having a great season. He actually played the under-21s ACT team earlier in the year. There you go, um, you make the 21s, you're probably thinking you, yeah, should, you should make your own age group as well. <laughs> yeah, unless you do something really <laughs> yes. wrong up there. Yeah, you're in some trouble if you don't. But yeah, he's... I think he's just starting to learn his craft a bit. He's always had it. It's just probably a step up in coaches up there and surrounded by a great group of players really helps I'm young sure players. His dad who coaches him in Div 1 men here would be too happy hearing that. Well, step up in coaches? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably not the best wording then, is it, Cass? No. Probably. no, I think he'd understand. Yeah. So Wodonga will look to push forward here. Their coach, Jez Payne, fresh on the pitch. They were looking for him, but... Wilson's oh, been ball through. prolific to start the game. Robinson on the back stick. He shoots. Ooh. Martin with the save. And have to do better than shooting it straight at Ben Martin. Good idea with Marto keeping it low, though. He's great with his hands and up high. Um, probably not as good around his feet as what he is up high. Makes some brilliant saves, stick saves. So, yeah, great option going low shot. In saying that, though, up high, he is facing into the sun. Yep. Uh, at the moment. So, good up point. high might not yep. be too... Too bad of an idea this end of the pitch. Flick over the top there. The Dom Wild flick, I think we're starting to call it. It's just the easiest option when you're in the back. <laughs> it gives you a bit of a break. <laughs> Throw it to the other end of the pitch I and have a breath. A few women out there who'd love to be able to do a similar yeah. similar thing. So Lay will take it from the sideline. Takes it quickly too, which seems to be the mantra of Magpies at the moment. Quick play the ball. Payne just picks Wilson's pocket. Quite often likes to start himself on the bench in quarters, Jez Payne. Yeah, he just gets a bit of a feel for the game, I think. Um, obviously understands how Magpie's playing and then goes out and tries to manoeuvre it around, whatever they're doing. He's a pretty crafty little player. Played a lot of hockey, so wealth of knowledge out there for him. So this would be Nash. Nash goes over the top, looking for Hamish Morrison. Doesn't quite get there, but Wilson might end up with it. No, he's free hit against here. Yeah, that's fair enough. McQuilton on the ball there. Interestingly, you, you look at your sheet to see who's number 50-something, and all three McQuilton boys are 50-something. So if yeah. I just say McQuilton, I'm that's fine. That's the easiest option, yeah. isn't it? Thank you, Wodonga Hockey Club, for putting them all in the 50s. There's only three number 50s out there, and all McQuilton. So all the clubs out there might make my life a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. Payne just corrals it on the outside into the circle, and... He's found his own player's foot there. Again, Magpies with the quick play of the ball, and they're looking to go through Pat Wilson almost exclusively. It's the second time now. Payne's picked his pocket. Payne looks up. Mulrooney. Mm. And right idea. Yeah, he was looking for Sonta, just the yeah. wrong execution. Sonta just overran it a little bit, should have held that gap, and then picked it up and gone. Pretty excited get, get to try and get forward. Could well be the story so far for Wodonga this year. Quite probably playing to their potential, but it does sort of look like today might be pretty close to their best team, maybe just minus Josh Pritchard. Yeah, I'm not sure where Pritchard is. I think he was playing at... Ooh, here we go, he's an opportunity. Shot on here. Might look for a deflection, but there's only Magpies there to take it. 
41 there in Walker. That's Mason gets it out, but it's back into the circle. The cross. Oh, Albon, not sure where he was out there, but a beautiful shot at goal. And I'm sure Logan Wilford really had that covered, but he just probably got a little bit lucky. There was no Wodonga player there to nick it in. Yep. Good cover there from Noah Jones to pick it off his pads and cover him. So the McQuilton's gone quick here. Into the circle. Albon. It's the ball across and they might have a chance here to knock it in. I think everyone just missed it there. Oh, Rooney's looked dangerous into the circle. Santa winds up and he scores. Santa puts him on the board early and Wodonga take a 1-0 lead. Five and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Yeah, that's good patience in and around that D. Both from, uh, who was it on the left-hand side there, Mulrooney. Probably was going to wind up and have a bit of a crack and thought better of it. Dropped it out, better angle and open up the goal. So really good, smart hockey there from Mulrooney. Really against the run of play too because Magpies had had all the run of play and that can happen is the team can come and get a cheeky goal. They're both playing very similar styles of hockey. Quite fast, ho open style of play, nothing not trying to come into contact, as I say, go through three tackles, but <laughs> not trying to come into contact with each other and just pass it around and move. Walker with a great ball out to Morrison, but if he can't get it, no one can. No one puts in more effort. So McQuilton will take the free hit right in front of us here, and it's a beautiful cross. McQuilton to McQuilton. Yeah. Easy one. Can't make a mistake on that one, Cass. <laughs> Again, I'm loving the three McQuilton boys out there. Must be special too, getting them all to play together. Yeah, be nice. They'd be thinking it'd be nice if they can win a premiership, but <laughs> for now, just round seven, Div 1 hockey on a Sunday will do. It'll come out to Morrison. Payne, Payne's come across and Morrison just had to do better there. Payne to Mulrooney. Nice little movement there from him, finds a free hit. The ball's getting a nice little bobble on it. Two days of uh, warm weather, the pitch gets a bit sticky and the balls start to get a bit grippy on the pitch. It's sticky. Yeah, it gets it heats the ball up when it passes around. If you use a kookaburra ball, they almost turn black because the surface and the, the material of the ball, it warms it up and it gets real grippy and sticky and it almost backspins on the pitch, so it gets bobbly. This is why you're the special comments man, Dom Wild. So as nice as the weather is, it's not very handy to play on. Yeah. Uh... So it'll be Wodonga's free hit here. Payne's screaming for it back, but he doesn't get it. Oh, that's a great ball. McQuilton. He'll take it into the circle. The shot there from the far side into the middle. Well cleared out there by Nash. He's been strong back there today. Spinelli fresh onto the pitch. Robertson... Been in the right spots all day and gets it out to Wilson, but Wilson into Spinelli, but well cut off there. Just read it perfectly, Erkskine. A little touch there from Wodonga finds McQuilton with the ball. Robinson will put him under pressure, but not quite try and tackle him. Walker leads to the ball. I just love watching Riley Walker play. Yeah, he's such he a good little player. Doesn't really get the fanfare that some of the other players get. He moves so smoothly on the ball. He never sort of changes height. His head's always still. It's good to watch. It's really nice. It's a bit like watching Jess Madden, I think, when yeah. she runs around with the ball. Great work there from Hamish Morrison. Just took his time, found the right man. Gets out to Wilson. It's a free hit.
Apologies about that little technical difficulty. All fixed now. You haven't missed any goals. Still Wodonga with a 1-0 lead. Just under a minute to go in this first quarter. Jez Payne there putting some serious pressure on his body on the line. Really chasing a goal before this quarter time break. He's already patched up too, Jez Payne, with a fair, yeah. fair bandage on the eyelid there. It was uh, pretty interesting there yesterday with that one. Gets it over to Wilson. Wilson has Robertson and Spinelli in the circle. Looks for Spinelli, but... Spinelli caught behind again. Then McQuilton looking for Payne. They've got 20 seconds to go forward, but it's actually Wilson who gets it. Finds Morrison. Payne, just a little bit of frustration there from him, I thought. Yeah, a little bit creeping in. Not sure why that is. 1-0 up. Yeah, unless something's happened that we haven't seen. I'm not so too certain. Five seconds to go. It's inside. We can't go straight in. Ooh. And just beaten by the buzzer. So that'll take us to quarter time. It's Wodonga with a 1-0 lead, but Magpie's definitely holding their own. We'll be back after a short break. Welcome back, Hockey Aubrey Wodonga. We'll call it the Mother's Day edition. All in sports coverage here with you. Cass Argus with you for All in Sports. Joining me on special comments, Dom Wild. Dom, Wodonga with a 1-0 lead at quarter time. How did you see that first quarter? Yeah, I think it was good hockey from both teams. I think, um, as I said, halfway through that quarter, I think they're both probably trying to play a similar style of hockey. Sort of open, pass and move. They're both quite fit teams. Um, so, yeah, not coming to contact nor look look for longer passes they're looking to build it up which is nice to see just Wodonga probably getting the edge on it a little bit more patience up front probably got a bit stronger and a bit more experienced forward line I'd say than Magpies but that's okay I noticed uh, Jeremy giving the Wodonga boys a bit of a rev up at quarter time so they're obviously not doing exactly what he was hoping they'd do or um, yeah, whatever the game plan is, they weren't following it, I'm assuming. Yeah, that man you speak of has the ball now and starting on the pitch for the second quarter. Not something he does often, so he's obviously got a plan he's trying to work to. A little slip there from Leach, but managed to get around it. And it's Erskine here, that new player this year, didn't play last year. Know much about him, Dom? Yeah, he's played. He used to be a great young junior. He's had a few years off. Um, he was in the Spitfires there when he was oh, 16, 17, around that age, I think. Could be wrong. Oh, yeah, I think he was pretty young um, and was a great young player. But, yeah, he's had a few years off. I think he plays a fair bit of golf and come back this year to have a bit of a run around. So he'll only get better as the season progresses and get back into it. It's quite hard after a couple of years to come back and play hockey, Cass. Yeah, that's why I haven't made the comeback at all. 
Those you can't do teach now. Yeah, that's what they yeah, say. I like your style, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> I'll watch you out there and I think, no, thank you. Uh, yeah. Pain into the circle, but couldn't quite find a stick. But a little bit better from Wodonga here. They seem a little less frantic going forward. I thought in the first quarter it seemed a little frantic and they weren't sure which way to go. And I think Jez Payne starting on the pitch in this second quarter has, has probably just settled that down a little bit. Yeah, probably didn't use their controlling players as much as what they usually do. Jordan Thornycroft out, out of the back was quiet in the first quarter, but he's a great controller of the play from down back and dictates it very well. So they'll probably look to use him throughout. Oh, that's a great ball over. Yeah, Wilson spots Llewellyn just outside the circle. Goes to go in and I thought he was lucky not to get a free hit there. I was, yeah, I'd be, yeah, anyway. I thought maybe... Yep. A bit of body on it, but anyway. A little bit of obstruction moving into the D. As we say that. Mulrooney pushing through here. Sorry about that. We're just having a little bit of internet issues down here. Hockey Aubrey Wodonga, not the best place for the internet. So a couple of minutes into this second quarter, Wodonga with a 1-0 lead. But you'd have to say it's a fairly evenly matched game, and oh, that's a that's great a ball. ball. Great transition. Nash up the sideline here. He'll have Llewellyn if he wants him. Opts to go inside instead. Oh, would have loved to have seen Nash drive. When he picked that ball up, drive into the top of the D and really open that circle up and give himself the best option to pass either side of the pitch. He had two options and he probably just held the ball for a little too long. Yeah. You drive that straight line in that, when you've got that space and you really close down the centre of the pitch and only give yourself that outside of the pitch. If you take off the first five paces, you get that ball, take off to the middle of the pitch and it really opens up. So Morrison in the middle. He'll look to push it forward. Robertson gets a touch on it. No free hit. Quilton just bobbles it. So Walker spots something out wide. It's Lay. Lay looks to go forward. Finds the free hit on Albon. In straight into the circle he goes. Looks at the deflection. It's Robertson. Tried to get it across to Wilson, but just couldn't quite get there. But Magpies with their best chance on a shot on goal so far. Ten minutes to go, second quarter. It's getting pretty hot out here too. Both teams starting to make a lot of changes. I'm hot just standing here I was going to say, wild, so. Murph's going to get us a gazebo next year, I reckon. <laughs> Last week, Sharon had a heater. Which like, is ridiculous. To be fair, she brought her own heater. We didn't provide yeah, that to her. Ridiculous. Sontag, goal scorer in the first quarter. We'll take it for oh, That's a great good opportunity. ball out wide, but just bobbled by McQuilton Payne. He might look to go himself. Back out to McQuilton. Inside. Finds my Rooney shoots. Oh. He had Sonter on the ground flying for it. And good work from Noah Jones just to clear it out. That's a great shot, running away, hitting around his body to get that on target. Yeah, Just pretty smart difficult. From Jez Payne too to get the ball off. People like me are saying, "Have a run, Jez, go yourself." And he's smarter than that to to pass it off. And I'm not sure McCoulton knew the ball was coming to him there. <laughs> Thornycroft. Yeah, over the years we're used to seeing him. With one stage he was rolling around with dreads, wasn't he? For a long time he had yeah. dreadlocks. Yeah. And it's people unusual out there probably to see. Have him. no idea who it is. Yep. Unusual to see him without him, to be honest. Robertson looks inside. Was looking for Mason Walker, but Payne ends up with the ball in the middle, which he's done quite a bit of. Oh, good pick. Effort from Robertson. Great ball up to Sonta. It's that man we were speaking of earlier, Erkskine. Out to Thornycroft, who hasn't crept forward yet, but... Maybe looking to now. Finds his mate in Payne who had Jeremy Payne on the show during the week and he was trying to tell us that Thornycroft is the more responsible one. 
of the two of them when they go travelling? Yeah, that's a pretty easy one, that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think there's any qualms about that at all. So Conlon loses his stick but wins the free hit. Haven't called his name too often. He's got Thornycroft out wide. He uses him. Thornycroft goes into the circle looking, looking for Albon, but he couldn't quite get a stick on it. That was Seth. So again, Wodonga with all the play so far at the start of this second quarter, but we did see a similar thing with Magpies in the first quarter who had all the play, but it was Wodonga who netted the goal. And just a little bit too bouncy out there for young Walker. So halfway through second quarter, Wodonga with a 1-0 lead. Yeah, it's kind to take the hit. Thornycroft gets it out wide. I was looking for Ben Boyd, missed him, but picked Boyd up by with McQuillan. the fake. Yeah. The on purpose fake. Too, yeah, yeah, I yeah thought. definitely. Yeah, we've all done that. Claim it. Yeah. Look, it worked out. <laughs> People over the sideline, so it will be a Magpies free here, and it's Menzi. I think Jeremy would be much happier with Wodonga's play this, this quarter. It's been much more controlled, a bit more steady, using those balls better. Um, and on the flip of that, I think. Magpies have had some great options, like nice, we're seeing it now. Nice little jink there from Spinelli and the turn on inside from Walker. Llewellyn, who was looking for Robertson, that was a really nice little build up there that when these young boys start playing a couple of games together and did one, that may turn into a shot on goal. I think that's probably going to be the story for Magpies. They're definitely getting up there and they're getting options, but that last pass into the D or that, that option in the circle is probably not... It's, it's just down to probably an experienced and a younger player as opposed to... Wodonga have made the most of those options when they've gone in there and actually getting something out of it. And Magpie's just probably missing that final pass or that last option's a little bit wrong. Oh, nice little touch there from Conlon into Sondra. He scored once. Can he do it again? No, Wilford. Wilford with a brilliant save. Sondra looking very dangerous every time he gets it in a circle. For mine, Wodonga just needs to get it to him more often in a circle. Yeah, for sure. Pretty dangerous leaving someone like Sondra out. One out like that. Ten yards to get into the D. Albon putting pressure here. Trying to put the pressure on Noah Jones, but Noah Jones too smart for him. Menzi. Look for a flick here probably from him. He's got nothing to go to. The Magpies boys are just slowing down a little bit. They're trying to play that fast-paced hockey and maybe just not quite used to it. Pick up from Wilson. He's got Thornycroft in front of him. Goes to Spinelli, gets a touch, Spinelli! Oh, that's a great goal. He's got a habit, Kurt Spinelli, of scoring ripping goals when he's on the live stream. He did it last year, he's done it again this year. Doesn't half celebrate as well, <laughs> still going. Because he knows he's on the live stream yep. for mine. Magpie's tied up, he's got people in the crowd he's pointing to. Kurt Spinelli with a ripping goal. He's still talking yeah. to his adoring fans. They're all lining up the Sharpies down here to get this thing signed from him. He'll be demanding to come on the show this yep. week. Steve Murphy, if you're listening, let's get Kurt Spinelli on. Good work there from Leach. So one all here, second quarter. Well, whether that was his intended target there, Leach, I'm not sure. Sort of a blind pass, Jez running through, but I reckon Jez was the target and just stepped off. Passed the wrong play, but it kind of worked. So Walker fresh off a spell on the bench. Finds Lay to Walker. That's Mason Walker with the ball. Just playing himself into the game nicely, Mason Walker. Yeah. Riley Walker now. Gets it through. I thought it might have touched Thornycroft on the way through, but they've done play on. It's a shot on goal from oh, Robertson. Great skill, Robertson. So fresh off Kurt Spinelli scoring his first goal for the year, it'll be a long corner to Magpies. And the Magpies crowd had been a little bit quiet up until that goal, and they're just up and about now. Definitely. So just under four minutes to go until half time. A little bit of confusion as to where to take the ball. Lay to Walker. Nice into the circle, but it's Oof. cut off by Thornycroft, but it takes pain and a bit of effort to... Needs to look for a out. free hit there. Into Spinelli, smashes it into the circle and 
Morrison might think it's his, but... Uh, I reckon it probably is, but can't argue with that. Ornycroft up and over with the flick, looking for Sonta. I think <laughs> Sonta's, I think, left that on purpose. Yeah, I think he thought Braden, or Braden might have called something, Mulroney. what's happened there. I think he thought he might have been behind him. Sonta's done the fake stop and missed it on purpose, <laughs> and Braden Mulroney just stood there. Just laughing at him. Yeah. Isn't you, Braden? Well done. You look like a bit of a goose now, Sonta. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robertson. Got one of the McQuilton boys in front of him. Jeez, he's put something on that. David. Wilson just outside the circle on the far side into the circle, but good work from Payne. I don't think he's had a rest this quarter, Jez Payne. If he did, it couldn't have been a very long one. All through to Mulrooney. He probably owes Sonta one here. But the effort from Riley Walker. Jeez, he's got some nice skills. No free hit paid. It's play on into the circle. Albon scores. Ooh. No, just, just to wide. the left. Side netting. Apologies, I got excited. At ease, Cass. Yeah, I saw it hit the net and I was a little bit excited. Jace, our cameraman, has a little giggle at me. He loves it when I get it wrong. So two minutes to go in this first half. One all at the moment. And what's been a rather entertaining game. Fast pace too. Good ball movement. So young Mason Walker out on the far side, looks inside Morrison. He gets it out to Robertson. Reefs it into the circle, was looking for Spinelli, but nice little touch there. It was Thornycroft got a touch on it. Been strong, back in defence today, Thornycroft. Yeah, he's a great defender, just reads the play so well. Doesn't really mark plays, he's always usually a free man, he's always done that. Um, but just picks it up so early as to where they're going to play or how they're going to play through and just holds that gap really, really well. Sure, what Kieran McQuilton was doing there, but he sort of took off but then went back. So Thornycroft. It's Albon in the middle, but uncharacteristic mistake from here. Numbers forward here. It's a great Wilson. option. Wilson might have found a short corner there. No short corner. Morrison wanted it. Don't know whether it hit anything. And Erkskine gets it out. With less than a minute to go here. It might only be Wodonga with a chance to score before half time. McQuilton looks up, finds Sonta. He's just outside the circle, but good work from Hamish Morrison. It's Walker, Walker, Will Morrison just bobbles it over the sideline. He's trying his hardest to get again. five. <laughs> Hamish just needs to go and settle in a corner or side on the sideline. And just under he's not 30 do seconds. That. Oh, you might have had a squeeze at the scoreboard then. Yep. See the time. He's a smart player. He's very aware of the situations yeah. around him. Got yep. Llewellyn square. He was screaming for it and he gets it. Straight ball to Spinelli into the circle. Turns. Mardo, Ben Martin with the save. And that should be all she wrote till half time. They might have one last crack here, Magpies. But Wodonga had set themselves up a step outside the circle. We'll head to half time. One all down here. Hockey Aubrey Wodonga.